What's going on? How are you feeling? It's John Riggs here. Take it up. Whoa. This chair leans back a little bit farther than I thought it would. <laughs> I never sit in this chair. I'm usually sitting in this other chair. I'm taking a break from work for a second because it's like not that it's... I'm a radio DJ and it's not like manually exhausting, but it's just mentally exhausting sometimes. I'm writing up articles and talking on the air and stuff like that. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about really quickly because I'm way out of frame. Sorry about all that. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. Um, are the... Uh, what, did you ever do the video game chat room thing on AOL? I did a lot. And if you went to the video game chat room on AOL anytime between like 1996 to like 1999, um, I probably saw you in there because I was in there all the time. That was like my place to be was that video game chat room on AOL. And in today's retro sense where it's like, oh, remember all these old game systems, remember these toys, remember this food, remember this breakfast cereal. Um, nobody's really talking about the video game chat room on AOL. So I wanted to start that conversation because am I the only one that was part of that? Now I've been, I hate, I don't consider myself a collector. I just happen to have a bunch of video games. Um, but I've been buying, selling, and trading, mostly trading video games online since the mid to late 90s back in the days of the Usenet news groups um, and on AOL. Um, you know, those were pretty much the only platforms at the time because that was around the same time I got my first computer. Now all my other friends were all into BBSing and all that. And that was a language out of my realm. But AOL, I could dig it. I can understand it. When I first got AOL, it was five bucks an hour. It was before there was like a subscription service. It was five bucks an hour to go on a chat room to download some middies, <laughs> you know, whatever AOL had to offer. Um, and then fortunately they opened it up. So it was just like 20 bucks a month or whatever it was. And I'm trying to think of all the people that I used to hang out there with, because it wasn't just me there all the time. There was also, um, a guy named Zebo, spelled Z-B-O. Um, I still chat with him every once in a long while. He's on, he's on Twitter too. Uh, but I, but he was awesome because he, um, was a huge fan of like the Turbo Duo, like I am, um, you know, and other import type systems too. Sega Saturn, I was really into that back in the day. Still am, but I mean, back then when it was new, that's fine too. Uh, there was a Ken Masters. There was a Zero Otaku. There was like, uh, I remember like some guy named Polo Guy that would hang out. Oh, there was um, ECM. ECM999 was always in the video game chat room and he later on got a job at Game Fan as a writer. And I thought that was, that was kind of cool. That was an eye opener for me. It was like, hey, here's a, I consider myself some dude, still do. It's like, hey, here's a bunch of us just kind of hanging out. <clears throat> here's a bunch of just, you know, we're, we're all just hanging out talking about video games and anime and whatever else at the time. And, hey, here's a guy who actually got into the industry, so to speak, by getting, becoming, uh, you know, by working at Game Fan Magazine. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I could get a job, you know, working at a magazine or, you know, I, did, I didn't write at the time. Um, I could be a gameplay tester. Well, you know, I was living in my parents' basements at the time, so... <laughs> I was near Seattle, but not close enough to it to uh, get a job there anyway. But was anyone else ever part of that video game chat room? Um, my name at the time, because everyone had a screen name on AOL. Uh, mine was uh, for the most for the most of the part. Uh, my name was Jigsaw Clef, and this was before the Saw movies. Before the Saw movies came out, um, I had the name Jigsaw Clef for music. So it's like, yeah, I like puzzles and I like music. So Jigsaw Clef is where that came about. I know, nice and lame, but it's AOL, so what do you expect? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of the other guys who were there in that video game chat room. Um, if you remember any of them, drop them in the comments below. Uh, I was just thinking about that, though, because it's like, that was such a big part. I mean, we would just talk about video games, and we'd say, like, hey, you know, here's what I have for trade, here's what's for sale, here's what we're buying. Mostly it was just a dialogue, but then you find other people, you know, like myself and others who are interested in trading. So you could, uh, you know, work that out and you know, become lifelong friends. And I'm not friends with any of them anymore, <laughs> with the exception of uh, Zebo, who I talk to sometimes. Oh, and uh, Jason Tengu, or Jari Tengu, or Jason Tengu, he, he went as both. Um, but he's also not on social media. Like, he happens to, you know, his actual, I, I, I found his real name, and he actually came over. Uh, that was another instance where um, he lived in, um, I th he lived near San Luis Obispo, California, and I was in Yakima, Washington. And um, we became such good online friends that one summer he actually came up and lived with me for a week. 
and we just played Sega Saturn every day. I still had to go to work, but then when I was at work, he was just playing video games too. And that was a, an interesting, you know, cool, cool guy. Um, I wish he was more socially active, but he's not. Um, but it was cool that he would actually get, you know, you know I, I talked to his dad to make sure it's all good. You know, I'm not some weird guy. Um, I am a weird guy, but, you know, so was he. And, um, and he just come out and, and hung out for a week. And, um, you know, that was a cool... We didn't, have, we didn't have video game conventions back then for things like this to happen. So yeah, that's all we could do. I don't know. I was just remembering about that. Because chat rooms don't even really exist anymore, really. The video game chat room on AOL in the mid to late 90s. Um, I tried stopping back in there like 2000, 2001. It wasn't the same. Um, you know, so I, I didn't bother. I just kind of left there. But I don't know. What, what do you think? Do you remember anyone who else hung out? Or were you part of that crowd too? Um, let me know in the comments. That's just... I, I, I've had that on my mind the last couple of days. I was like, man, I remember that. You know, just staying up till the sun came up. Just chatting about video games in that video game chat room. That's all we had at the time. Because, you know, after the internet came out... You know, I thought I was the only one, you know, and you, maybe you thought that too. It's like, you know, I seriously thought I was the only one who actually made video game music cassettes that I'd listen to, you know, when I wasn't playing the video game. I thought I was weird for doing that. But then thanks to the Internet, you <laughs> you find out you're not the only one for anything. So <laughs> there's a whole lot of that going on. So anyway, thanks for watching. I just took a quick break and I just want to sit in here. I, I've never sit in this chair before. I actually might sit in this chair more. This is my office, by the way, if you're... See a pack? No, I'll show you around a little bit. Eh, why not? I'll, maybe I'll do an office tour. My office is always trash, though. But there's some promotional flyer for something. Got a foosball table, and there's a you know someone else's telescope. That's usually my work spot. A couple of uh, Pepsi cups there. Pac-Man. The 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 Riggs album. There's a, a classic rock band named Riggs. They're on the heavy metal soundtrack. Cement suitcase. Um, local director uh, did that movie, um, and based in the Yakima area, so there's a lot of Yakima landmarks and stuff. And soundproofing, because this place, you know, used to be a, it's a radio radio station now, but used to be a dentist. And then there's that knob on the wall. You turn that on, and uh, the fan turns on. So, anyway. Video game chat room. Were you part of it? Um, let me know in the comments. And who else do you remember in that chat room, too? Um, there's a few names I keep, you know, they keep on getting on the tip of my tongue and then leaving. I remember Zero Otaku, Kin Masters, Zebo, um... Uh, Zebo and uh, Jason Tingu are probably my two best friends, and I actually considered them friends. Um, a lot of, everyone else is kind of like online buddies, if your friends list, but they were always at the top. Um, and there was a ton of names. I remember that polo guy. Pent Up Anger was another one. I remember the, there was a guy uh, in Chicago. I don't know where I, where I remember he was in Chicago, but Pent Up Anger was the name of another guy. And he was older, too. Like, he actually had, like, a wife and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Check out these other videos if you feel inclined. And uh, I got I to get back to work. So until next time, take care. We'll see you. Thanks.